welcome back. Good news for foreign tourists visiting their favorite destination, Goa. Goa will have an extension of visa on arrival within the next one year. This decision has come from the union government. Hyderabad, Kochi and Bengaluru will have this facility along with Goa. Currently, visa on arrival facility is available at four international airports at Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. There were 6.29 million foreign tourists in 2011. Out of these, 12,761 had availed of the scheme. Now with the additional four airports of Goa, Hyderabad, Kochi and Bengaluru, the tourist inflow in the country is expected to double. The decision to extend the facility at four more airports was taken at the first Interministerial Coordination Committee for Tourism Sector. Government had set up an Interministerial Coordination Committee for Tourism Sector under the chairmanship of the Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister, Pulok Chatterjee, to resolve interministerial and industry issues and promote tourism. Principal Secretary to PM Pulok Chatterjee says, Tourism should be pro-poor and focus on employment creation, aim at more than double the number of foreign tourists arriving in India, encourage domestic tourism. At present, 13 countries whose nationals can avail a visa on arrival include Finland, Japan, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Singapore, Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam, the Philippines, Laos and Myanmar. It's good news for entrepreneurs in the state tourism industry. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Department of Fire and Emergency Services held a mock drill in various parts of the state. It was an exercise to check the security arrangements and preparedness in the schools during emergency. This is on the backdrop of guidelines of Ministry of Defence under national school level safety measures. Department of Fire and Emergency Services held a mock drill at Our Lady of Rosary High School. 108 school management and fire brigade officials participated in the mock drill. Similar exercise was also held at Shantadurga High School in Bicholi. A reporter Uday Parab and Savio Dais. Robbers are now targeting the schools. Robbers struck two schools in Shishonia on Saturday. They fled away with cash of almost 30,000 from Mount Mary High School and St. Mary of the Angels Convent High School. Kunkole police are investigating the case. Robbers struck two schools in Shishonia, Kunkole. Robbers entered Mount Mary High School and St. Mary of the Angels Convent High School by breaking the locks on Friday night. When school staff opened the school on Saturday morning, they noticed the broken lock. As part of Golden Jubilee celebration, PTA is collecting the money to, celebrate, to have different activities. And that day about 15,000 were there. They are collected by the appeals. Plus, Sir uh, Shishabian, around 4,000 were there. And uh, another 5,000 were there of the primary fee. So they were in the diary and every record were in the diary only. The whole diary is taken. Now, beside that laptop were there, two laptop were there, two LCD were there. They are there intact. That, that is nothing is touched. Sister Flavia Vaz expressed worry about the security of the school students. She also criticized police for lethargy. It's not what the money is gone or the cash is gone. This is a school, children's school. All people's, all well children are here. If they keep and plant an explosive, what are we going to do? And I called the uh, police by around 10 to 8. The police came at only around, say, 9, 10. 
If there is a robbery in the school, if I call, where is the staff? Where is the staff? Today it is here. Tomorrow anybody, if I catch a robber, will a police, will I get a police protection? Where is the staff? Is the question I ask everybody. Kunkule police reached at the site and filed a panchanama. The investigation is on, but there is no clue yet who the robbers are. A reporter from Margaon, Savio Dais. North Goa District Legal Authority has started a mediation centre for the first time in Goa. Any legal disputes can now be resolved and settled through mediation at the North Goa District Legal Authority's office in Panji. Ad hoc mediation center was inaugurated by Justice A.P. Lawande at North Goa District Legal Authority Office at Junta House in Panji. This is for the first time mediation center is being started in Goa for settlement of cases. Advocate Harsha Naik gave more details about the mediation centers. It's all kinds of properties, criminals, checkers, families. Firstly, we are going to level. We, are, uh, we will try our best to settle these matters amicably. I cases refer to even prior to the court and Galchapoli cases. We have court and Galupran. We have a list of the mediator. We have a list of the mediator. We have a list of the mediator. Baba, this case is a tumka, Zauti, opponent, Zauti, Dagam, the mediators that are settled, that are the Ramiti refer further. Even after the court filing or before the court also, if something can be done. So that is the intention of the Zatatli settled Kurpachi, I'm checked to object us. North Goa District Legal Authority has appointed panel of advocates to undertake mediation for resolving the dispute speedily. A video journalist from Panji, Omkar Falari. It's time now for another short break news from sports. When we come back, stay tuned.